If you're a Final Cut Pro user, you probably already know the importance of plugins. As a content creator myself, I found that with the right plugins, you can achieve faster results, enhance your editing experience, and make your videos look more professional. There are a lot of great Final Cut Pro plugins available, and in a previous video, I talked about the best plugins for 2022, which you can check out after this video. However, today I wanted to share with you my top five plugins I use daily to create my content on YouTube. You will find all the plugins mentioned in the video description below. Low. Most of my favorite plugins are from Motion VFX. Their plugins are top quality and they just work. The great part is that they not only create plugins for Final Cut Pro, but also for DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. The plugins are more pricey than other competitors, but the quality is 100% worth it. Make sure to stick till the end as I have a promo code for you to get you started. To kick things off, number one on my list is M-Tutorial. This is probably my most used plugin as many of the videos I create on this channel are tutorials. M-Tutorial includes a lot of presets such as titles, placeholders, lower thirds, transitions, and much more to make my tutorials more coherent and engaging to watch. To use it, it's as simple as dragging and dropping it onto your timeline. You can even customize the templates to your liking. I especially like to use the focus preset when creating my editing tutorials as it visually helps the viewer focus on the important parts of the video. Also, highlight is a cool feature that helps highlight a text as well as the selection line to again, draw attention to something specific. So if you're someone who creates tutorial, training videos, or online courses, then this plugin is a great option. For me, it just saves so much time and makes editing more fun instead of having to do everything manually. The second is M-Tile Cinematic 2. I'm still using it till this day. I found no other tile plugin that comes close to the quality of this tile plugin. It adds that Hollywood feel to your videos and is also one of my favorite and most used plugins when creating travel type videos. So here's a video I filmed in Iceland with the iPhone 14 Pro. Instead of using these cheesy tiles from uh, Final Cut Pro, I'll be using M-Tile Cinematic 2. I can simply select the title from there that I think fits with the video and drag it on top of the clip. I then rename it, adjust the size and position it. Once I'm happy with it, I can play it back and you get a nice opening with a title that makes the video feel much more cinematic. The great part is that it creates the title animation for you and each one looks differently. I remember when I tried to create my title animation for my YouTube intro in After Effects and it took me like forever to make it and wasn't even that great. And yeah, from there on, I realized that I can do everything much faster with just using title plugins. There are so many out there. However, I find the M Title Cinematic 2 great for short films, documentaries, and travel videos that need that extra touch. Next one on the list is M Film Look. If you're looking for an all-in-one correction, grading, and effects plugin, the M Film Look is a great option. I use this plugin to enhance my videos that were shot on an iPhone. A big part that makes a video look film-like is not only how you filmed it, but how you color graded it to create the final look. I have a tutorial explaining how to color grade iPhone footage in Final Cut Pro using the M Film Look, which you can also check out after this video. Furthermore, with this plugin, you have a set of professional quality tools that are easy to use and help speed up the color grading process. So how I do it is I start by color correcting the clip. I make sure the white balance, exposure, and saturation are in the right spot. After that, I start to polish it with some creative color grading using M Film Look. I usually add a LUT, which is like a color preset. You can use the ones provided by M Film Look, but I prefer to use my premium mobile LUTs, which work great for videos shot on smartphones. You can check them out in the video description below. After that, I add a vignette, some blur, a bit of grain, a lens flare if there's a light source, and if you want, you can add a letterbox to give the video that sort of widescreen aspect ratio. So as you can see, using this plugin makes it fast and easy to stylize your footage, and especially with videos shot on a smartphone, you can make it look like it was shot on a DSLR camera without any extra effort. Now, before we look at some other great plugins outside of Motion VFX, as a bonus, I wanted to share with you this free plugin called MCAM Rig, which allows you to create dynamic camera movement. Again, a very easy drag and drop tool that creates a smooth zoom in and out animation, which can make your videos look more engaging. I use it to help change perspectives in my A-roll, but also for my editing tutorials if I want my viewers to focus on something particular. Now, moving away from Motion VFX comes a free plugin by Tap5A, which is called Quick In and Out 
animation. This has been so useful in animating in and out images, text, or media. It works as a drag and drop effect. For example, when applying the effect to a text, I can choose between many different in and out animations. I often use the fly animations as they look really great. I also use it on GIFs to create these cool pop-up effects, but like I said, it will work with almost any type of media. It not only makes my video look more engaging and professional, but it saves me time from having to add keyframes and motion blur manually. And the next plugin we have is called FCB Picture in Picture Effect from a guy called Dylan Bates. This is probably the best picture in picture plugin I have found for Final Cut Pro. It is super easy to use and also comes at an affordable price of $25. I use it often for my editing tutorials. It's as simple as dragging and dropping it onto your clip. And what's cool is that you have on-screen controls that make it fast and easy to adjust the size, position, and even move it around on the screen. And being able to just do that makes this plugin worth it. You can also have it animated in and out, which I think is pretty cool. And you have a bunch of customization options too, such as changing the shape, color, and even the background. If you have a gaming channel, do podcasts, or create a lot of tutorials, then this plugin is truly a time saver. All right, folks, so hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to use some of these plugins to take your videos up a level and make them look more professional with minimum effort. As I mentioned, most of my favorite plugins are from Motion VFX, and you can get 10% off using the code Bennett10, which is valid until June 4th. With that said, guys, if you're interested in learning how to film cinematic and professional looking videos with your smartphone, make sure to head over to smartphonefilmmaking.com to learn more. Thank you so much for watching guys. Happy editing and I'll see you in the next video.